is happening guys welcome to the first episode of road to master ball rank today we're going to be jumping into a brand new series where we're going to check out the world of ranked battles in pokemon sword and shield uh, so i'm pretty excited about this this is definitely going to be something different i figured it'd be nice to switch it up from the usual wi-fi battles but um, i have actually messed around in these ranked battles a couple times uh, kind of just right after the game came out just to check out what was really what was going on with it so i believe my record yeah we're sitting at two and two uh, so I figured now's a good time to kind of start. We're at a nice little even record. And uh, yeah, so this is definitely going to be different. It is kind of a whole new meta in terms of just bringing 3v3s. Um, I decided to bring a team of basically just some heat. I brought some stuff that I think might work well. Um, honestly, I really have no idea how this is going to go. But all I know is we're going to get that master rank, boys. Um, all right, so let's check it out. First of all, we have a Choice Scarf Dragapult. The reason why I brought Scarf is because I assume we're going to run into a whole bunch of other Dragapults where it'd be nice to have the upper hand and be able to Draco them without having to worry about a speed tie or anything. Next up, we have a Galarian Rapidash, which is something I have not used yet, but I feel like could be pretty fun to mess around with. Uh, we also do have the Galarian Darmanitan, who's holding the Focus Sash. I feel like guaranteeing uh, that this thing can basically get a kill is kind of why we're working with the Sash there. Uh, if we lead off with it, it could work out well. And then the next three kind of pair nicely together. We have the Pelipper, the Dracovish, and the Berescuta. I just honestly wanted to give Berescuta the spotlight because I freaking love this fish. But yeah, so I think that we kind of have a nice variety here to choose from uh, in terms of kind of seeing what our opponent's working with. So I'm really not used to 3v3 battles. It kind of really relies on momentum of kind of what, uh, what you're able to bring against them. So if we get a team matchup that works in our favor... We're going to have a good time, but let's search for an opposing trainer here and hopefully get ourselves our first win in the series, boys. All right, so an opposing trainer has been found. We are ready to jump right into it. Christian here, also rank one. We're going to be able to see what this guy brought. So, ooh, we see Gyarados, which is something I'm not really prepared for. He's also got the Duraludon and Aegislash. Ferrothorn, Hydreigon. And the Dragapult. So, damn. This guy <laughs> has brought some heat. Um, so that's a little bit scary. I don't know if he's going to want to lead off with that Gyarados and just Dynamax it right from the start. If he does, that's going to be a little bit bad for us. He also has that Ferrothorn. Honestly, I think leading with Galarian Darmanitan might be our best bet. Just because uh, if he does go Gyarados, I really do not want to have to struggle against that thing. So we're bringing Darmanitan for sure. Uh, also, I feel like Choice Scarf Dragapult is kind of a must here against the Hydreigon and his um, Dragapult of his own. And then it's kind of just a free choice here. Um, we could bring Rapidash since he does have the two dragons. Might not be a bad idea, but then that Aegislash is a little bit of a problem for our team. Um, or I could go Dracovish, which I think we're gonna I think we're gonna bring the Rapidash. I think we have a pretty decent matchup here. This guy's brought a brought a nice squad, so. Let's see how it goes. Leading with the Sash Darmanitan, I think, is probably the best play here. If he decides to go with the Ferrothorn, we can just... Um, we probably have to Dynamax turn one, which... We want to get some momentum on our side right from the start. He's actually going to go into the High Dragon. So he leads off with the, the Tripod Dragon. And uh, very interesting. So I'm assuming this thing is just going to like Flamethrower or something. We can just Icicle Crash here. Uh, I don't really want to use my Dynamax unless I really have to. So I think we just click I think we just click Icicle Crash here. We have a guarantee. We're gonna be slower. He's probably gonna expect Um me to be choiced in some way. So it, ordinarily if I'm a scarf Darmanitan, he's in a bad scenario unless he scarfed himself. We're just gonna click Icicle Crash here and see if he decides to just stay. He is actually gonna switch out. Okay, so he saves that thing. And he's gonna go into the Aegislash. So this is actually not too bad for us. We do get the Icicle Crash off. Um, I don't know if I want to Dynamax against this thing. Just because it could King Shield, get that attack down. Um, I think we want to switch out here. I could go... Could go Dragapult, but if he Shadow if he shadow Balls, he might just go right for um, a Fighting move. I think I want to save the, the, the Focus Ash Darm. So let's go ahead and switch into Dragapult here, which is a risky play. But I think might be might be good for us to save the Darmanitan. As much as I would like to just click that Flare Blitz, he is going to go for the King Shield. So nice. We get the switch in on the King Shield, which is perfect. Now we have a great matchup here. I can just go right for a Shadow Ball. 
But if he brings back in that dragon, we're going to have a bad time. I could even just U-turn here. But I think playing it safe is probably the best bet. If he does switch, we could Dynamax. Maybe we just Dynamax turn one here. Mm, I think we just click Shadow Ball. Just kidding. All right, we're going for a little bit of a risky play here. He does just go for the King Shield. Um, so the Shadow Ball is going to go through. I hate Aegislash, man. But he did bring the Sword and Shield mascot. So, okay, he knows I'm going to Shadow Ball here. Uh, he has a free switch into that High Dragon. But we could just Dynamax and go for a Draco Major if, if we would like to. Which I think might be the play. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's Dynamax. Max Wormwind here. I don't really see this thing staying in, to be honest. It dies to a Shadow Ball. I think his switch in is going to be that Dragon. We're going to click the Max Max Wormwind here. So we're going to get big on him. Ghostly Tail is going to be massive. And he might actually stay in. If he stays in, this is not good for us. At least we do get the Dynamax up. I'm just worried about him having the Scarf Dragon in the back. Um... Which is kind of just the worst case scenario here. But we'll see what Dragapult can make happen here. We have got the Dreepies on our head. He actually is going to Dynamax himself. So not the correct play in clicking the, the Dragon move. I really thought he was going to try to bring in that High Dragon. Uh, I don't know, Shadow Ball. But a little bit of a misplay there. He got to go for the predictions to get the payoff though. Am I right? Alright. So... Thing. He's going to take a Max Wormwind, and we'll see. I guess he's just going to go right for his Shadow Ball slot. It's going to do nothing, as to be expected. But um, we do get the attack drop, which I don't think really matters. He's going to go ahead and bust out the Blade. Oh, sweet Jesus. I think Dynamaxing here probably wasn't my best bet. Yep, just goes Max, max Phantasm. And uh, that's going to hurt us quite a bit. Does less than half, luckily, which is nice. Um, so now we're pretty much free to click Shadow Ball. Does get the defense drop, but does our Phantasm knock this thing out? He's just, yep, just going to go for the max guard here. So he's going to stall out a turn of the Dynamax. He cannot do that again, though, which is great. Does protect itself. And uh, you actually don't get damage through max guards, which is an important little tip. He is actually going to end up switching out here. So now he's going to, is he going to bring in the Dragon now? Good play. He's going to switch out on the Dynamax, which I didn't expect. Honestly, I thought he was just going to stay in there. He does go into the Dragon again. Okay, well. This man's making some plays. Got to respect that. He's not going to be able to do much to this thing. It actually does a decent chunk, though. Um, so, we have the Galarian Rapidash in the back. I could just switch into this thing immediately, which I think might not be a bad idea, because I'm assuming this thing is Choice Scarf. But we're actually, we're actually just Scarf Dragapult right now. We just clicked Draco Meteor. Just kidding. Hold up. Because we're allowed to essentially just choose our move here. We're just going to go right... Oh, no. Just kidding. We locked ourselves into Shadow Ball against the... Damn it. Against the Age Slash. That's annoying. Well, let's switch into Rapidash here. I thought for some reason... No, we could switch there. But since, since we clicked Shadow Ball as it uh, King Shielded, we were locked into that. So now we go Rapidash. Uh, it does go for the Dark Pulse. So rather than going for the dragon move, he clicks Dark Pulse, which is a good play. Because now we essentially just have to sack off Rapidash. So we go for the play rough here. And we essentially actually outspeed this thing. Hello? Galarian Rapidash, you're not scarfed. Yes. The toothpaste fairy pony knocks out the dragon. Just slaying dragons out here, which is amazing. So we know he's got that Aegislash. We do not know what the last slot is. I'm assuming it's Dragapult. And I'm very glad that we were able to conserve that. So we have, in the back, we have the Focus Ash Darm. We have the Scarf Dragapult. And look at the pony out here. Making shit happen. So that is amazing. In comes the Aegislash, which is to be expected. And this thing is probably just going to King Shield, I would assume. We're just going to go for a high host power. We don't really have any business switching out here. It's actually going to stance change, okay. And uh, it's actually just going to go for a Shadow Sneak. So that is unfortunate. It's going to be able to knock us out. So he does carry a Shadow Sneak on Aegislash. But we really were in a situation there where we didn't need to 
Um, really risk it. Now, since we know he has the Shadow Sneak, we need to go into Darmanitan here. Which is kind of bad, because he can just go for the King Shield. Ooh, that Shadow Sneak is scary, man. Damn you and your Shadow Sneak. Well, unfortunately, the pony goes down, but let's go into Darmanitan. I really wish I had my Dynamax to go for here, but unfortunately, we do not. I'm going to Earthquake in case he King Shields, which I think should still be solid here. I hope. We're just going to click EQ. So it does change back into defense form. Damn you. And it's just going to go for the King Shield. So luckily we don't make contact with this thing, which was the main thing I was worried about there. Dropping the attack would be a no bueno. But we just Earthquake. So we don't suffer the consequences there. Now we just click Earthquake again. Uh, he doesn't have, unless he has the Gyarados. Just kidding. He could switch into Gyarados here. And if he does, nope, he's actually just going to, he's just going to Shadow Sneak me. He is just going to Shadow Sneak me. So he's able to break my Focus Sash, um, which is not very good for us at all. But we do get the EQ off. And that is going to kill the Aegislash. So down goes that thing. He has one Pokemon left. It could be either Gyarados, Duraludon, Ferrothorn, or the Dragapult, which I'm assuming it's a Dragapult. But you never know. I really wish... Yep, it's the Dragapult. So I really wish I still had my Sash intact. Uh, the Focus Sash kind of shit on our plans there. So we just click Ice Cold Crash here. We are not Choice Scarfed. So this thing is going to be faster. Why can I... Why can I only use Earthquake? Hello? I'm Sashed. What is... <laughs> why why can I only use Earthquake? Oh, it's Gorilla Tactics. Obviously. Shit. Okay. Jesus. For a second there, I was like, wait. I specifically took the damn Sash off this, th or the, the choice off this thing. Well, so the Dragapult just goes for a Shadow Ball. Um, I believe we're in a scenario here where we should be... Oh, Darmanitan actually lives. Wow. That's clutch. And the Gorilla Tactics had me confused there. Yeah, Gorilla Tactics are basically just built-in choice ban, which is insane. Uh, but we just click Earthquake again here. And as long as this thing is not a Choice Scarf Dragapult as well, mine should be able to come in and outspeed it and kill it. So We noticed that if it was Specs, that definitely would have knocked us out. Um, it's time to see if my Dragapult is going to come through for us, which hopefully it can. Because this is the exact reason why I put the Scarf on this thing. So we just click Shadow Ball here and just kind of see how the battle plays out. We are going to be faster. And that is going to knock out his dragon. So, that was a very close one. Definitely could have gone bad for us. That Shadow Sneak uh, Aegislash was friggin' problematic. But, we are going to be able to get our first win, boys. And uh, the team made it happen. So, definitely, he was number 69 also. <laughs> Alright, we could have played that better. Um, I was definitely... Definitely walking a fine line there. The Gorilla Taxi. I was like, why am I locked in Earthquake? Hello? Okay, we are going to rank up twice. Nice. We gained them points. We're number three now, boys. We also get 20 BP. And let's find ourselves another battle. So these episodes are probably going to be about 30 minutes long. I think it's a, probably a pretty good range for us. See how we can do in 30 minutes. Another battle has been found. And all right. Let's get it. So let's see what they're working with. We see, of course, another Dragapult. We have a Durant, which is interesting. Gothitelle. Or, um... And he's got the... Oh my god, then he's got the... I hate Togekiss so much. Also, a Blossom. And an Excadrill. So now the question is, do we decide to try to bring something different here? Um, I think we need to bring our... I think we might even just go with the same idea. Um, instead of bringing Darmanitan, though, we could bring... Or, instead of bringing Rapidash, we could bring... Um, Dracovish, potentially... But that Togekiss is scary. We could even we could even go with the Rain Squad, but I don't really think that that's the best idea. We're just gonna lead we're gonna lead Darmanitan again. Uh, Sash Gorilla Tactics should help us out here. We're definitely gonna bring Dragapult, and now it kind of comes down to whatever we would like. I'm probably just gonna go with Dracovish, or maybe even yeah, we're gonna go we're gonna go Dracovish. All right, so this could be a bad matchup for us. It's kind of like bringing 
the rain team might be a good idea, but again, I think it's probably just the safest bet uh, for us to just go with definitely Darmanitan and Dragapult and then kind of a wild card. So the squad I brought is interesting because the opponent kind of has to see the fact that I have that rain option there, so they kind of have to decide if that's what I'm going to bring. But anyway, they lead off with the Blossom, um, which is interesting. I did not expect to be seeing a Blossom today, but there it is. So we're just going to click Ice Cold Crash here as uh, I think we're... We're in good shape for that. He's got to expect me to be, like, scarfed. Uh, we do get the Ice Cold Crash off. This thing is definitely going to be Focus Sashed, and it potentially could Quiver Dance. Well, just kidding. The Blossom actually is just going to go ahead and take that and die. So, sorry about that, you little Hula Dancer, but you're dead as hell. So, starting things off, Darmanitan getting us that clean kill. You'll love to see it. So... Um, I'm assuming he brought the Dragapult. We're nice here because we do have that Focus Ash. He's just going to go into the Togekiss, uh, which is a questionable play because we just click Ice Skill Crash here. And do I even just... Should I just Dynamax? I think that they're going to Dyna. There's no way that they don't Dynamax here. We're going to Dynamax ourselves. Galarian Darmanitan. It's going to have to do it the hard way, boys. Going to need to get big on him. And did not expect the Blossom to come. Well, so he's got the Dragapult, Potential, got the Tell, Togekiss, we see, and the Excadrill. So we should be good considering we have the Scarf Dragapult in the back, but you never know. So we do Dyna here. Uh, they are going to Dynamax as well. Definitely to be expected, kind of in a scenario where you have to Dynamax here if you really wanted to try to take a hit. So <laughs> this thing comes in. I'm thinking about even putting just a band on Darmanitan. Might be a better idea, taking it off the Dracovish. I don't know. That is a very large cloudy boy. And it is time to get ourselves some solid damage from the Max Hailstorm. So this is gonna hurt. Yep, that is almost gonna be able to knock it out. Well, the good news is we actually do set up the hail as well. So we're gonna take some uh, gonna take some damage from that. We should be able to take a hit. Ooh, it's actually um, got a weakness policy, which is very interesting. So now it's able to go for the max airstream and weakness policy coming in clutch for him, but we do actually live. Look at that. Does actually get the speed boost though. Um, and does the hail kill it? Ooh, the hail does not quite kill it. But at this point, do we save Darmanitan and just switch into Dracovish, let this thing die to the hail damage? Do I want to save the Darmanitan? That is that is the question. I think I think we just stay in here to be honest. The good news is that the Max Hailstorm is going to help us out, unless... Yep, okay, nope, we're good. So, Darmanitan goes down because it did get that speed boost from the Max Airstream. One of the better moves in this meta, honestly, Max Airstream with that, that speed boost is, is a threat. So, Darmanitan goes down, but we've done the damage we needed. Does get hurt by the Hail, and you are dead. So, Hail, saving our lives today now it comes down to figuring out what they have left uh, it could be the Dragapult I'm assuming it's the Dragapult I think we go Dracovish and kind of at least this will allow us to scout what kind of Dragapult it is if that's what it, they decided to bring if it's Excadrill uh, we should be okay Gothitelle is an interesting one because it can trap you with that shadow tag but it is going to be the Dragapult Dragapult so all right we essentially just click crunch here. I don't think that they're. Yeah, we're just going. We're just going to get that uh, that strong jaw crunch going. I love the little dreepies on his head. He's going to go for the dragon darts here. Uh, we should still be okay because we have our scarf boy in the back. So uh, going into Dracovish was good for us because at least now we can see what this thing does. It does get hurt by the hail? So if it's sashed, we are no longer sashed. And now we go into our own Dragapult, and it's looking like <laughs> it is just literally a battle of Dragapults out here. And hopefully you're not Scarfed. If you are, there's really nothing we can do in this situation, to be honest. We just go ahead and click Draco Meteor. Hopefully just don't miss, and hopefully we go first. We are able to break through. Ain't no way you're liking this, dropping Dracos on him. And that is going to kill. So we actually are able to finish the second match. The same way we finished the first one, and I knew that bringing the Scarf Dragapult was going to help us out. That's actually pretty funny. Alright, so, second win, boys. We out here doing the damn thing. The team seems to be working out. We should 
try to bring something different on this next one. We'll go for one more in this, this episode here. Definitely did not expect to go undefeated in this. Um, but we're just going to see. Oh, we can actually take a look at their team too, which is kind of cool. But we're just going to go ahead and continue battling. Let's get one more going. And just to see if we can finish this uh, this first one undefeated, boys. We're going to go ahead and rank up too. And we're finally Pokeball. Check that out. We're Pokeball tier. Not quite Master Ball. We're aiming for the Master Ball. But we'll get there. Don't you worry. So, 4-2. and two, Essentially 2-0. Two and oh. Those first ones should not have even counted. I was just dicking around. But, alright. Got ourselves another match here. And let us see what we got. So, alrighty then. We have a Obstagoon. A Galarian Darmanitan. Also, we see the Frozmoth. Which is interesting. We also see the Weezing. The... Ooh, the Gastrodon, just the fact that that thing's there is I do not want to use my Water Boys. And there's also the Gyarados. So afraid of the Gyarados for sure. I think we might just stick, stick with the same situation here where we lead Galarian Darmanitan if he wants to lead it his own. That could be bad for us. Hmm. Or do we just lead Dracovish? If he starts to set up, set up Dragon Dances... With the Gyarados, we will definitely be in a little bit of a shitty situation. I'm expecting him to probably want to lead with his own Darmanitan, to be honest. We could go Pelipper. Hmm. I don't know. I think... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to lead with Darmanitan again. We've got to bring Dragapult if we want to win this. And then last, let's go ahead and... Hmm. We're bringing Dracovish again. We got to go with this squad. I think that it's kind of just the hardest hitting, especially for this situation. Um, I was hoping for some scenarios where we would come across some um, some teams that I think the water would work well against. But with that Gastrodon being around, he's also got the Gyarados. So I think it's probably just our safest bet just to go, go with them hard hitters. So what are they going to lead off with? They lead with their Darmanitan. Okay, so we got a little Darmanitan off here. And this is interesting. I think we have to Dynamax, to be honest. We're sashed, so we should be okay. I think we just Dynamax and click the Flare Blitz. We're going to go ahead and Max Flare here. I do not want this thing. It's likely Choice Scarf. If it's going to be a lead, it's probably going to be Scarf. So it'll be able to... It would be naturally faster. Um, but we're just going to Dynamax just to try to get things going right from the start. And I'm assuming they are as well. So get Darmanitan nice and big, boys. You really kind of have to bring these super, like, overpowered mons in these, especially just because everybody else is bringing them. You kind of set yourself at a disadvantage. And we out here to win, boys. We are here to hit that Master Ball rank. We're not dicking around. All right. Let's see if they do decide to Dino. No, they don't. Just going to go right for the Flare Blitz. And uh, we do actually live that with 10 HP, which it's going to basically kill itself with its recoil. And, uh, man. Well, we would have definitely lived that, obviously, because we were sashed anyway. But taking care of... Heard our Manitan is great for us because now we don't have to worry about that thing. So, we're going to set up the Harsh Sunlight. And it's uh, interesting. I definitely thought that they were going to Dyna as well. So, we kind of set ourselves at a little bit of a disadvantage here because they do not Dynamax. Um, so, we have used ours. They have not used theirs. Now, in comes the Gastrodon. And I think we just click Max Hailstorm here. Just for the most amount of damage. Um, so they did definitely bring the Gastrodon, because I'm assuming they were afraid of, like, Dracovish and potential Swift Swim Barrascuta. But Max Hailstorm here is just going to be able to do an insane amount of damage, because Darmanitan literally is unstoppable. That built-in choice ban, boys, it's, it's nutty. All right, so uh, now it's actually going to go for a Yawn. Um, so that is interesting. We don't fall asleep until next turn, which is great for us. So we can just finish this thing off, unless it has, like, Protect... I really don't think it does. It has leftovers. Do we just stay in here? And, no, I think we want to switch. I think this thing's going to, like, recover. Or potential protect. So maybe we go... Maybe we switch into Dragapult here. This thing could potentially... I mean, Scald is really its only option. Hmm. Yep, I think we're going to go Dragapult here. We don't see a Dragapult on their side of the field. Uh, so we don't have to worry about that, which is nice. 
Not going to be able to win with the old reliable Scarf Dragapult shenanigans, but we'll see what this thing does. We could have just killed it, which I think might have just been the better play. They're actually going to switch. Okay, so they were going to bring something in to a Max Hailstorm. It turns out to be the Galarian Weezing. So, ooh, shiny Galarian Weezing, which looks no different at all. Well, interesting matchup here. Um, the good news is we've kind of scouted their full team. We know what they got. And this is not the best for us. Hmm. What is this thing going to do, though, is the question. Honestly, I feel like if we just Shadow Ball, we'll be able to get a lot of damage. We know that it's just going to be the Gastrodon in the back. Or do I want a U-turn? Do I want to go into the Dracovish? I think we're just going to click Shadow Ball, honestly. It'll do it'll do a lot of damage. And I guess we'll be able to see what old Doug Dimodome has in store for us. So the Shadow Ball does about half. It's actually going to will wisp us. And that is because you do see a lot of physically based Dragapults. Uh, these things are kind of... That's what makes them so versatile is that they can actually be Dragon Dance with like the Dragon Darts. Uh, more physically based. Or... You know, you're like me, and you run the special one. Either Specs or, like, Scarf or something like that. I prefer the special variants, but obviously they predicted this thing to be physical. Going for that, will o -Wisp does help us out, because now the Shadow Ball knocks it out. And then we know that it is just going to be a Gastrodon in the back. Oh, just kidding. They got, they're going to go ahead and die now. All right. So, that is a little bit scary for us. Because now this man's top hat is insanely large. The smokestacks are huge. <laughs> Honestly, I really like Galarian Weezing's uh, design. Alright, so um, we do obviously still go first. We get the Shadow Ball off. It is able to live it though because it is now large and it's going to go for a max Starfall now. So that is going to be able to knock us out. The Weezing did pick up a KO and uh, it's a little bit sad. It also does set up the um, what is it, Psychic Drain or gets up that Swirly Mist. Well, gonna get hurt by some hail. Uh, it's gonna be like two hail turns until it dies. Uh, do we just go Dracovish and outspeed this thing? I believe we do. Or do we wanna just go Darmanitan? Uh, Dracovish, we lock ourselves into fishes. Actually, it doesn't matter what we click, to be honest. I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go Dracovish. I honestly do not remember how fast Galarian Weezing is, but I think, <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Then we send in young Frank aka Frankenstein and we kind of actually have to man I'm afraid of this crunch just not killing but then again Dragovish does not care about tight matchups do we just ice fang here I'm just gonna ice fang not playing games against a dynamaxed Galarian Weezing the ice fang is gonna be able to knock it out now it is just us against that Gastrodon, which we should be still okay because we do have the Darmanitan around. And the hail goes away. Um, we're locked into Ice Fang, which really shouldn't be too big of a deal because, I mean, with the Choice Band, Dragovish is an absolute beast. So back comes the Slug. And we're just going to click Ice Fang here because there's really no reason not to. Here we go, Dracovish. Finishing things off for us, that is going to knock out the Gastrodon. So, we have done it. Three battles, three wins, and uh, the OP squad has seemed to work out. So now we've got at least a little bit of a, a decent feel for kind of how these 3v3 battles work. And uh, that was interesting. All right. We also get a bottle of HP up, which is cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is actually, exactly sets us up right almost at the old 30-minute mark, which is what we're aiming for. And I think the team worked well. I think it did kind of exactly what we were looking for. Uh, I definitely brought some absolute beasts. But when you're trying to win, you're trying to get that master rank. You already know we had to uh, we had to bring some heat. Anyway, guys, we're gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.